In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a CRO dashboard using GA4 data. Conversion rate monitoring dashboards can look like this one. And we try to do something similar and uh, visualize top metrics that is relevant for CRO. Uh, some useful chart breakdowns by desktop, tablet, mobile conversion rate and other insights that we can uh, fetch from GA4 data. So let's start from scratch. I already connected GA4 data source. If you need to connect one, you need to click on add data and here select Google Analytics and find your GA4 uh, property and connect. Uh, then let's start uh, from top of the dashboard and uh, uh, it will be useful to add this date range control. I click here, select uh, date range control, add it here. Here I can configure the default date range. Let it be last uh, 30 days and I click apply. Also we can name our dashboard and I click here text and add it here and name it CRO dashboard. If I select all and click uh, command B, I can make it bold. And uh, I want to increase font size it's, and make something like this. Also, I can adjust. And then let's uh, start from scorecards. I prepared some charts for demo purposes and it will make our process of building dashboard faster. So I want to add total users, uh, average order value, cart abandonment rate, checkout abandonment rate, conversion rate, transactions, and total revenue. So let's start from total users. I need to click uh, here at a chart and select a scorecard and I place it here. Uh, then I um, navigate to the right side and uh, here I need to find a metric that is called total users. I selected it, then uh, it will be useful to compare this metric versus previous period and I click apply. Now we see the comparison. Uh, let's duplicate this metric. I click command C and command V. The next metric will be average order value, uh, but in J4 it is called average purchase revenue. Uh, here it is. So we can rename it. Okay, if I click here, I can rename it and call it average order value. Uh, then according to my dashboard template, I want to add cart abandonment rate. In uh, this case, I just copy this uh, scorecard, but I will show you how this metric is calculated because by default it is not showing in J4. And uh, so we need to copy this formula and uh, we calculated this way one minus transactions divided by add two cards. Let me show you how to do it for, from scratch as well. I can copy the previous metric and uh, here I select add field and uh, paste my formula. And I can uh, name it cart abandonment rate. And uh, it should be data type percent and uh, it can be up to two decimal points and I click apply. The same is uh, true for checkout abandonment rate. I will show you this formula as well. It is one minus the transactions divided by checkouts. I want to do it from scratch and just copy uh, this metric. Uh, the same is true for conversion rate. I calculated it by dividing number of transactions by total users. Uh, then also I add transactions and total revenue. So I just select all these three scorecards, copy and paste on my page. Let's prettify it a little bit. I select everything and uh, right click and then I need to select distribute uh, horizontally and uh, another transformation I need to click align uh, uh, vertically top. 
and you can see that it is adjusted and I can place it here. Next let's build a, a line chart and I click here time series chart where we uh, visualize our conversion rate over time. And so I need to click on conversion rate. Here I just want to copy the formula and update uh, the field here. I need to click add field, uh, paste um, our, my formula here, uh, name it is as conversion rate and uh, it will be a percent and two decimal. Yeah, here is our conversion rate over time, but let's uh, make it uh, this chart better. What we can do if I click on style, uh, here I can add, for instance, average line. If I click on add a reference line, uh, here I can select um, constant value metric or parameter. I will use metric. It's by default, it shows average, but we can use median percentile, minimum, maximum, and uh, total. I will leave average. Uh, also, I can do, I can add several lines, but I will leave right now as it is. And want to add uh, another line, but it will be uh, for comment. Yeah, and I will show you the purpose of this. So I click on reference line again and I want to mark when I start running A-B tests and when I finished it. So here I need to, here I need to select a constant value, scroll down and select uh, axis. It will be X axis. And here I need to select value and it will be date. So when we started running A-B test, uh, let it be 4th of March and uh, let's rename it. I will add a comment card a B test start uh, and uh, I will I want to add another reference reference line for the end of ex experiment and uh, here I also select uh, X axis and uh, finish date will be March 8 and uh, I will add another label, cart AB test uh, finished. Yeah, that's how you can uh, add some comments to your charts that will be useful for AB tests. Let me show you other charts uh, that will be useful for zero purpose. I don't want to make it from scratch. This That's why I just show you the configuration. Here I want to break down conversion rate by desktop plus tablet and mobile. So, and these uh, charts are for mobile. Uh, uh, it is the same scorecard that I made uh, before, but this one difference, I added scorecard filter for device category mobile. You can see that uh, how this filter is configured. And this filter applied to all these four scorecards plus uh, for uh, this chart as well. Uh, let me add uh, a label here for mobile conversion rate and I will make it uh, bigger. Uh, let me copy it and uh, paste it on the right side as well. It will be a desktop plus tablet conversion rate. Metrics are uh, the same, just filters. You see right here how I configured a filter for desktop and tablet. I use device category as well. And uh, here I select uh, regular exp expression to match for desktop and tablet traffic. These charts will help quickly uh, show the comparison for previous period and how conversion rate fluctuates uh, for different device categories. I, here I added one calculated field that is called revenue per user. And I calculated it this way, total revenue divided by 
number of uh, total users. And if I scroll down here, uh, you see breakdown of mobile screen resolutions plus operation systems and the distribution of revenue and conversion rate for, for each device. So I can, it is a simple table uh, that uh, you can find here and add dimension screen resolution and uh, another dimension operation system. For metrics, I used total revenue and conversion rate. I applied here mobile filter. Uh, the same is true for desktop. Uh, the same dimensions and metrics, uh, only filter is different. Uh, then I've plotted uh, using a table chart conversion rate and total revenue by country. Uh, so dimension I used is uh, country and the metrics are total revenue and conversion rate. Besides that, I mm, added uh, session source medium and with the same metrics. So you can replicate these charts. It is without filters, additional filters. It's showing for all traffic. At the bottom of this dashboard, I added, uh, created a simple funnel and let me adjust it a little bit to show you. It is uh, from impressions up to transactions and I can select again all these scorecards, right click, uh, align horizontally, to, uh, align uh, vertically top and then uh, distribute horizontally. How I can improve this chart? I can add line, but select arrow and connect these scorecards. I can add this the first line, copy, paste, add here, make another copy, add it here, and then it will show a simple funnel. Besides that, you can calculate percentages by dividing items viewed, for instance, for item list views or checkouts divided by add to cart. Uh, to do it, you can select two scorecards and then click, uh, right click and uh, click on blend date. Also at the top of the dashboard, I've added three filters, one for country, another for device category and for uh, the third one is for user type. Uh, this filter applied to all charts and in the view mode, uh, I can select one filter also uh, add another filter to the previous one and this way slice and uh, dice uh, my data. I hope that this video was useful. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel not to miss new videos about Looker Studio and e-commerce analytics. And if you need help with a Looker Studio or want to build a custom dashboard, you can check links in the description below.